Dopamine is a catecholamine that increases both blood pressure and heart rate, used as a drug to treat hypotension and bradycardia. In this mnemonic video, I'll teach you an easy way to remember everything you need to know about dopamine for the NCLEX. So let's get started. Today I'm at the dog park with my beautiful Doberman pup. He loves coming out here to run around just like most dogs do. This Doberman is our symbol for the drug dopamine. Dobermin for dopamine, get it? They sound pretty similar, don't they? Dopamine is an adrenergic agonist, meaning it stimulates adrenergic receptors in the body. Let's dive into what happens when these adrenergic receptors get activated by dopamine. Just my luck. While I was out playing with my Doberman, the sprinkler turned on, getting both me and my dog all wet. This sprinkler seems to be broken because when it turned on, water also started spraying out of this broken pipe here. Here at Pixarize, we use a bursting pipe to symbolize an increase in blood pressure because pipes burst when the water inside is under too much pressure, get it? Dopamine is used to increase blood pressure in people who have low blood pressure or hypotension. When dopamine activates the alpha adrenergic receptors in arteries, vasoconstriction occurs, meaning the blood vessels narrow. This increases blood pressure by increasing the resistance to blood flow. Kind of like how squeezing down on a garden hose makes the liquid inside spurt out with more pressure, right? This action to increase blood pressure makes dopamine an important drug in the treatment of hypotension, especially in cases of shock. One important thing to remember though is that if the patient is hypovolemic, either through dehydration or severe blood loss, adequate fluid and blood product to resuscitation is necessary before giving dopamine. The NCLEX loves to ask questions about order of care, so this is important. Without enough blood volume, dopamine won't be effective in increasing blood pressure. Adequate fluid replacement has to happen first. Got that? Good. Let's move on. As soon as that sprinkler turned on, I took off running not to get wet. But, phew, I'm out of shape. Take a look at my fitness watch. I've got a high heart rate. This fitness watch showing a high heart rate is our symbol here at Pixarize for an increased heart rate. Just like I have an increased heart rate from running from the sprinkler, dopamine increases the heart rate. Get it? Dopamine also stimulates the beta-1 adrenergic receptors located in the heart, increasing heart rate and contractility. This increase in heart rate also allows dopamine to also be used to treat bradycardia. It isn't the first-line treatment, but may be used as a second option if atropine, the first-line drug, isn't effective. Just use my fitness watch and my high heart rate to remember that dopamine increases heart rate and you'll be good to go. Next, let's talk about some potential side effects. As I was running away from the sprinkler, an apple fell out of my pocket. I was going to eat that as a quick snack, but yeah, I don't think I want to anymore. It's all bruised from falling out of my pocket and even has a hole where a worm burrowed into it. You know what this reminds me of? An IV site surrounded by tissue death. You know, since a hole in the apple is like an IV site and the apple is rotten or turning black around the hole, just like the tissue necrosis that happens around the injection site of dopamine. We talked earlier about how dopamine causes vasoconstriction. Systematically, vasoconstriction is helpful in raising blood pressure. But if dopamine leaks around the IV site in what is formally called extravasation, excess vasoconstriction of the blood vessels supplying the skin and tissue around the IV site can cause tissue death, also called necrosis. To prevent this, keep a close eye on the IV site and, if possible, give dopamine through a central line. The Doberman is looking curiously at this apple, and for good reason. There is a phantom worm coming out of the apple hole. When the apple fell out of my pocket and hit the ground, it must have killed the worm inside, leaving behind its phantom. This phantom happens to be our symbol for phentolamine, because phantom and phentolamine sound alike, right? If dopamine does happen to extravasate into surrounding tissue, the drug phentolamine can be injected as an antidote. Phentolamine works to prevent vasoconstriction caused by dopamine, reversing tissue damage caused by the lack of blood flow. And that sums up dopamine for you. Let's summarize. Dopamine is a catecholamine used as a drug for various clinical uses. Dopamine primarily works by activating adrenergic receptors in the arteries in order to cause vasoconstriction, which has the overall effect of increasing blood pressure. Since dopamine increases blood pressure, it can be used to treat hypotension and shock. Dopamine also works on adrenergic receptors at the heart to increase the heart rate, which is useful in the treatment of bradycardia. Lastly, dopamine can cause local tissue death at the IV site if it leaks or extravasates. So be sure to keep a close eye on the IV site and inject phentolamine as an antidote if extravasation does occur. Thanks for joining me in this mnemonic video. I'm gonna get my dog all dried up now, but I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. 
For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.